Welcome back to the RipeWave Audio community. My name is John, and for this video, we have some interesting news. Emotiva has just posted a video within the last few hours showing how to change out the HDMI board in an RMC1 or other processors. Now, this did not come with an announcement that they have an HDMI 2.1 board for the RMC1 or for the XMC2 or for the RMC1L, but it does raise the question, do they have something coming? Following the, um, the pro boards for Emotiva, they have said that they are working, they will be an HDMI 2.1 board upgrade for these processors. But with Emotiva, the question is always when. And, you know, they have had a history of missing dates, although they do appear to be on a roll this year, releasing a lot of new products of all different types, uh, you know, earphones and uh, new new um, pre uh, preamps for two channel, new amplifiers for their basics line, etc. So they've had a lot of new products coming out, and um, this video uh, is exciting. Now we feel that manufacturers, vendors are finally on a roll with HDMI 2.1. Uh, support. So, you know, the early um, processors, or the early announcements uh, that came out from Denon and Marantz, of course, they've had their problems with their first generation HDMI 2.1 board. It wasn't quite as bad as everybody first felt. It's a pretty limited use case, which is impacted. But of course, those who buy these processors or AV receivers want to know, you know, want to have those features really working for whatever might come in the next few years. They're not buying a, a, a three to $5,000 processor to um, have it go obsolete in a year or two. Uh, they want to know that the HDMI 2.1 support that's claimed is going to work as advertised. And uh, so Denim Marantz were in the early phases, Yamaha as well. They had problems with their first releases. Uh, now Yamaha has another of their new, some other processes that are, are coming, but we're still waiting on upgrades for that. Pioneer and Onkyo, that group has, um, you know, processors out there, uh, receivers that are out there that have HDMI 2.1. So, with enough of these manufacturers, so you have Denon, Marantz, Yamaha, Pioneer, and Onkyo. There's five of the most common brands that are out there. Of course, Sony we haven't heard much from. Uh, and then you've got the more premium brands. Uh, we haven't heard uh, they're having support yet. But the next wave, we can imagine uh, not just Emotiva, but you know, what about Anthem? They said with the release of their new um processors, uh, the AVM 70 and 90, 90 we're still waiting on, it's, it's said to be coming out later this fall, uh, that there's going to be a board swap for those. And uh, what about the monolith, the monoprice HTP1, you know, will that have an upgrade? I think going forward uh, in 2022, it's going to be very hard for manufacturers to sell processors without HDMI 2.1 support, whether the consumer is using it right away or not. Uh, it's just that assurance that you're ready for the near future. And I'm saying near future because we are starting to see gaming consoles and other things are to follow. So we are excited by this video and we'll have the links uh, to what Emo TV has produced here, and I've got kind of paused on the, the YouTube video. Uh, we'll put that there for you. 
but they're very careful. They don't say anything about really what's coming. It's just a video about how to open up the processor uh, and put the board in. So this is saying something else to me. It's saying that when they do offer a board, it's going to be something you can change out at home. Why would they tell you um, the procedure if you had to send it back to the factory? So that is also good news that if you have the RMC1, the RMC1L, or the XMC2, it seems like when they do have the new boards, you're going to be able to do it at home and not wait that extra time. And of course, the video also gets in and says, well, this you gets that HDMI board out of the way so you could put in some of the expansion modules. So they've got finally maybe some expansion modules coming. They've talked about these in some of their forums and so forth, where whereby you can add in um, you know, more inputs. And I think they're going to have a phono stage. Uh, we'll see exactly what gets released. Uh, so th they're, they're giving some basic details on how to, how to get into the case and change out the HDMI board, but also give the expansion muscle. Another thing we've been waiting for for Emotiva. I know Emotiva's had some problems with firmware. Those have seemed to be shaken out with the latest um, releases. A lot of people have lost faith in the brand. I am hopeful. I'd love to see them be very successful uh, because the more processor options that are viable out there, the better it is for us consumers that are trying to build home theaters. So with all this said, uh, you know, this is a pretty quick video. I am working on another video to uh, show what Onkyo is coming out with. Uh, I'm still in the process. I couldn't finish that up this week, but here's a quick one for you. So what do you think? Um, what do you, do you believe that Emotiva is really coming out with an HDMI 2.1 board for these processors. We hope so. What are your thoughts? We'd like to hear about them in the comments below. And um, you know, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this RipeWave Audio community and be sure to hit that bell icon so you'll be notified the next time a video is posted. Until then, keep evolving your audio experience.